newspaper this morning, major headline, Governor, bandits in North recruited from Mali, Sudan. That's major headline. They are hired through social media. Um, how COVID-19 second wave is killing people by the CMD. We already talked about that. So it has JNI attacks Kuka. Let's talk about the statement by the governor saying bandits in the North recruited from Mali. Mm, that's old story. We have always known that. Um, uh, we, we know that ISIS for a long time, ISIS uses the social media to recruit uh, their terrorists. Mm -hmm. And so this happened everywhere. And our borders are porous. You know, we've been talking about uh, cross-border patrols, how people come into Nigeria, you know, unfettered. You, know, mm -hmm. just, you can just cross over, you can just walk in, you know, without any resistance. And, and this is dangerous for us. With the, with the unrest in Mali, in Sudan, in Libya, yeah. you know, people are migrating. You know, and these are dangerous guys with weapons in the hands of the wrong people. And so we, we should not take this lightly. I'm sure yeah. he's not just talking on the pages of newspaper. The authorities are aware, you know, security agencies. This is when we need intelligence because if we don't do that, we are on a daily basis opening up our borders, you know, for these terrorists to enter. Mm -hmm. And when they regroup here, uh, it, it's better imagined than experienced. Yes. The Kuka's story you know, okay. is there. I, I, I was afraid we were going to come to this point, and we're now here where this is attempted to become, you know, a religious conflict. You know, the 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 Sultan, of course, the Jamaat Nasri Islam, mm -hmm. uh, they have said that uh, what Reverend Kuka said, Christmas homily, they are now describing it as a veiled insinuation that Muslims have a pool of violence to draw from, mm -hmm. and they have described that as disgusting, disheartening, and condemnable. Uh, I, I have a lot of Muslim friends. Kafayat is one of them. Mm -hmm. You know, Kafayat is not uh, is not hostile. Mm -hmm. She's educated. Kafayat is She's not liberal. violent. Mm -hmm. You know, Kafayat is in, in, she has a lovely heart. So, I, and I believe that <laughs> there are many Muslims like that. You know, so I don't want us to to take this as a Christian Muslim fight yeah. because it's going to escalate to, to something yeah, else. Something you know? deadly, so, yes. I think our leaders, both Christian and Islamic, should sit around the table and try to manage the situation. Mm. I know how it is. I know how uh, people feel when they when they think that um, you know their faith. Uh, it's been attacked yeah. you know, unnecessarily. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, you know, I, I, I'm not going to speak for uh, Bishop Kuka mm -hmm. and whether I, that was what he said or not, but his statement is clear. It's in black and white. So whether he's saying that, mm -hmm. you know, is a story for another day. But I don't think that's what he said. Mm -hmm. You know, so I don't want us to push this out of proportion. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, let's pick, you know, the sense in what Bishop Kuka has yes, said. Right. If if he spoke nonsense, let's take the sense okay. in what he has said exactly. and leave the norm. Okay. You know, so, you know, I, I'm sure the government of the day will have one or two things to learn from it. And then those who are also criticizing the government of the day, yeah. I'm sure they would have also learned, you know, one or two ways, you know, wow. not to criticize the government of the day or one or two ways to criticize the government of the day. Having said that, uh, we, we have also, some persons have said that this government is not tolerant of criticism, you know. It, it, they're, they're, they're like showing, yeah, yeah, several, yeah se several times, you know, uh, when people, you know, criticize them, even constructively, you know, many times it's been misconstrued. Yeah. Or oh, you are trying to force a change of government, yeah. you know, away from the ballot box. And mm. this is a democracy, you don't do that. You know, mm -hmm. this is not Capitol Hill, where people smash windows <laughs> and doors, you know, we're, we're, we're a democracy, uh, we're a sane democracy. We don't, we don't force a change of government through the back door. You know, so I, I just want uh, uh, Saad Abubakar III, the Sultan of Sokoto, maybe yeah. you can call Bishop Kuka and you know, let them just, mm. you know, sit over a round table yeah. and sort these things out. Nigeria cannot afford a religious crisis at the moment. At the moment. You know, well, in addition to with? the yeah. terrorism, the banditry, the kidnapping, we the armed robbery and all that. Yeah, we have already. too much trouble already as a nation. Yeah.